is it beautiful to you just the amount of GPUs involved? Sort of the 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 whole training process on this much compute. It's just zooming out, just looking at Earth and humans together have built these computing devices and are able to train this one brain. Then then we then open source. <laughs> Like giving birth to this open source brain trained on this gigantic compute system. There's just the details of how to train on that, how to build the infrastructure and the the hardware, the cooling, all of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, or are you just still the most of your excitement is in the the theory aspect of it, the uh, meaning like the software. Well, I used to be a hardware guy many years ago. Yes, yes, that's <laughs> decades right. ago. Hardware has uh, improved a little bit, changed a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, certainly scale is necessary, but not sufficient. Absolutely. So we certainly need computation. I mean, we're still far in terms of compute power uh, from you know what we would need to match the compute power of the human brain. Um, you know, this may occur in the next couple of decades, but um, but we're still some ways away. And certainly in terms of power efficiency, we're really far. Um, so there's a lot of progress to make in uh, in 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 hardware. And you know, right now a lot of the progress is 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 not. I mean, there's a bit coming from silicon technology, but a lot of it coming from architectural innovation, and quite a bit coming from uh, uh, like more efficient ways of you know implementing the architectures that have become popular. Basically, combination of transformers and convnets, right? <laughs> and uh, so uh, you know, there's st still some ways to go until. Uh, we're gonna saturate. We're gonna have to come up with like new, new principles, new fabrication technology, new uh, basic components. Um, perhaps you know, based on sort of different principles than those classical digital CMOS. Interesting. So you think, in order to build AMI, I mean, we need, we potentially might need some hardware innovation too. Well, if we want to make it. Um, ubiquitous, yeah, certainly, because mm -hmm. we're going to have to reduce the, you know, compute the power consumption. A GPU today, right, is half a kilowatt to a kilowatt. Mm -hmm. Human brain is about twenty-five watts, uh, and a GPU is way below the power of human brain. You need, you know, something like a hundred thousand or a million to match it. So, uh, so you know, we are off by a huge factor here. 